YouTube, what's going on? Solution for the solution kicks back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap that notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one. Of these. So YouTube can be a part of the Mighty Four Kicks Brigade. So this video right here, yes, you've seen that I'm in the same getup from my Game Royal 12s. I actually shot this video one time before, but I actually added two pairs. Well, I said, you know something? I now have a collection. I need to do a video on this because I actually like this sneaker. It's a sneaker that no one really covers unless it's a serious, serious collaboration because we take, take it for granted that it's very affordable and a lot of people have them. Being that I'm back in college, this is a sneaker that I see probably the most maybe followed closely by another, another very old iconic sneaker that's still very dope. And the reason for it is that you're in college, you really don't care about fashion at the moment, you're just trying to get to class and you want to be somewhat comfortable. So I'm talking about Vans, all right? The Vans skateboard sneaker that is now a staple of people's fashion sense as far as sneakers want to go when you're matching clothing. They're very versatile and simply, I can't say it enough, highly, highly affordable. You'd be hard pressed to find a regular van over $79. And most time that's just a collaboration. And last one I saw that was over $79, I think it was the uh, David Bowie. The David Bowie um, Vans collaboration that was released. The current one that's going on right now is the Harry Potter one, if I'm not mistaken. And I believe that's already hit clearance and sale. So the first pair I'm gonna talk about is my basic black skate highs. Um, this is my first pair of Vans that I purchased almost a year and a half ago. I got them for like $39, I think. I was like, oh, I guess I should get a pair to throw in my collection because that would basically create bias within my collection being that I have a pair of Chucks. And these are very utilitarian. And the, the only knock I have on Vans is that they aren't super comfortable, but they're comfortable enough and they aren't very uh, structurally supportive, but they go with everything. You can really pull this off with everything. And I got something basic right here. And I'm kicking myself because I should have got the suede version as well. And the suede with the red uh, van, I, you know, the little signal right here. Okay, the little wave logo. But right after that, I got two pairs for the super, super low. I think I paid $55 for both pair via crazy sale at Foot Locker uh, last summer, about last summer. I purchased these skate highs right here, the checkerboard skate highs. Let me make sure I'm saying this, this silhouette properly. <clears throat> no? Yeah. Appropriate name is a checkerboard skate high BMX. All right, true B. BMX check. So are they alluding to, you know, bicycles this time instead of skateboards? But I got these for the crazy low. I like the checkerboard logo and I love the red, white, and blue because this has a lot of options for me via my wardrobe. I have a lot of this right here. The only knock that I have on Vans, I don't know if you guys can see that, is that the dye, they dye their sneakers really, really heavily. I guess they want the colors to last for a bit, but it bleeds into the laces. No matter what you do, is they're gonna bleed into the laces. That's one knock I do have on them. Otherwise, they are very, very stylish. Then I followed, this is the second pair I bought when I got that crazy deal. If you know me, you know this colorway, this, this color combination is very personal for me. This is my high school colors, and this is also the first college I attended that gave me a scholarship. So blue and gold, royal blue and yellow will always be very, very uh, iconic for me personally in my collection. But before I got those, I had to get these. These are the Tribe Called Quest skate lows right here and if you know your music you see this right here this red black and green you know the album if you don't and you're a little younger or much younger you're like i don't know what he's talking about i don't get that those aren't appealing to me and it says right there beach rhymes in life you know the album arguably their best album for some i love all their work but arguably that is their best album and uh, these are dope. They, I think they had five or six different silhouettes, but this is the one I picked up. And they, they quickly were selling out in some areas, then they vanished, they pulled them. So I can't find these anymore. And I don't think this is a sneaker I'll check for on StockX anytime soon or any of the other colors, but they had a lot, a lot of different versions. Well, six, they had a, a 
a good portion of those sneakers out there that I cover everything. Next up, this recently about two months ago, I got these, you know, the tried and true skate lows right here. You can't go wrong with these. Everybody has a pair of these, it seems like. You got these black and white ones, everyone has a pair like this. Or they had the checkerboard version, which I passed up on because I said it's a bit redundant because I copped these and I've yet to wear them. You see the tags hanging off of it. You know, now some people are like, well, that midsole is gonna be a problem. Now, if you're somebody that likes the distress look and a lot of a lot of the, the younger generation, they, they don't mind the dirty looking sneakers when it comes to bands and that's their thing. Somebody like me, while I like my sneakers fresh, this is probably something I'm not gonna wear every day as a beater because I don't want that sole looking nasty and I had to scrub it and work on it. So if you own a pair of Chucks, this is almost like the Chucks midsole right here where it's kind of hard, it gets grungy and dirty and people just accept it as a part of fashion. But not me. Now I'm gonna have a seat. Um, one thing I will say about Vans is that they always, they weren't always the number one skateboard sneaker. There was a brand called Airwalk. Now, some of you going, Airwalk? Airwalk isn't Payless. Airwalk was the more preferred skate sneaker for a while. Then with, uh, I believe the rap group, The Pack, came out with the Vans song. Then, of course, you had Lil Wayne that really caused Vans to explode. And he jumped back. Well, they jumped into the fashion world with my generation who didn't, we didn't, well, where I'm from, we didn't skate. We didn't skate at all. Well, some people did. My cousin skated. My cousin Delico, he skated. Broke his collarbone and everything. But where I was from, we really didn't skate. We rode bikes. We rode BMX bikes. But with the Lil Wayne infusion and things like that, everyone jumped back on it. And you can find people rocking pretty much this pair of vans at any given day. Walk through them all. You're probably going to see 50 pairs of these just by glancing down. Everybody has a pair because they average from $69 down. You're going to be hard pressed to find a pair of Vans higher than that, leather or not. They're very iconic, very affordable, very well made, and some of them can be a little comfortable and some aren't as comfortable. Well, I will say that, but a nice addition to your, your collection as a, a beater or something simply for casual styling but you must have a pair in your collection if you see so fit and also it's the it's probably one well it is in the top five of my back to school sneakers just for the price and the immense amount of colorways that come out and the thing with vans people don't even try to match vans that's the crazy thing about it people just throw on any van and everybody just accept it it's it's kind of like the Timberland color almost. I've seen crazy color vans in a multitude outfits and people are like, well, I got my vans on, oh well. Me, I'm gonna go with these. I'm gonna go with these. Then I'll come back to these if I wanna wear something that is somewhat universal. But yes, dope sneaker for the price, very iconic. Get yourself a pair to for under $100 sometimes. Let's see, the, um, what was that? that summer pack that came out with the green kind of the money green the pink and the baby blue was like $69 when they dropped now I'm seeing those for $29 I might grab a pair just to throw them in the collection the hot top version the tie-dye ones are I've seen those the slip-ons the skate lows um, the, the little deck shoes for $29 and $19 you can get a pair of those as well and it's not saying that those sneakers bombed anything like that it was just so many pairs and a lot of people had them already and some people view vans as oh yeah i just get another pair i'm dogging them i'll get another pair but they're very well me so i'm out of here comment like subscribe get in those comments down below and chop it up and tell me what do you think about the very iconic van sneaker and i'm out of here boom Welcome to Hack My Life for Leaks. I'm your host, The Solution. First life hack. If you didn't pay for that phone and pay for the bill, stay out of it, ladies. Life hack two. If you don't help them earn that money, don't count on it, nor ask to see it, or wonder where it went. That'll keep you happy, safe, and content. Until next time, I'm your host, The Solution. And remember, Mind your business.